first to Oakwell, where Barnsley, still looking for their first win, took on Ipswich Town. John Helm. Well, the last time David Curry made a home debut for Barnsley was in February 1988. The opposition was Ipswich Town. He scored twice, but the team from Suffolk won 3-2. Well, Kerry's return to Oakwell for a quarter of a million pounds coincides with the need for more goals from Mel Machin's side. They've scored only one in losing all three games here so far. Ipswich, on the other hand, have scored in every single match, and they lie fourth in the second division table. It's quite a long journey from uh, Suffolk, but quite a number have made it, and that's because Ipswich have made such a promising start to the season. And awkwardly knocked up and then a slip, allowing Goddard some space inside Barnsley's penalty area. Actually taken away by Fleming, it's come back in for Goddard and there must be a chance here, Kiwomia and Johnson and a fine save by Lee Butler spreading himself at the feet of Johnson. Who wears number two but plays on the left side, the left side of midfield, so well done Butler. And at the other end immediately, a Barnsley free kick conceded by Linigan. The tackle was on Kerry. So Ian Banks with the free kick for Barnsley. There's four men on the edge of the area. Connell's trying to get in somewhere up there too. As Banks hits it. And Savile, oh, just over the top. Literally looped over by Andy Savile. It's his first full appearance of the season today. Came on at Derby last week as a substitute and got off the mark immediately. And he really has the confidence here to meet this one on the full and the chip just carries it over. Stockwell, which are looking quite lively at the moment. That's ominous for Barnsley. Such a poor start to the season, and it'll be an Ipswich corner. Indeed, it will be Thompson. They've got uh, Dazelle on the near post, Goddard on the back post. Oh, and there was a very clear header for Tony Humes. Nobody had picked him out. And the tall centre back who is playing in place of Brian Gale, the uh, new Sheffield United signing, gets up well there and heads wide. Kerry's the only one coming and looking for the ball. Fleming's cross in, Forrest came and then went back. It's, it's got to get bodies in there. And it's uh, Steve Witten who clears. But apart from that Andy Savile shot over the top, this is the first time that Barnsley have been anywhere near it, which is penalty area. Here now he's coming. It's like an eel, and he's put a good ball in as well. And the header over and wide from Brendan O'Connell. But really that showed the mark of Kerry's abilities. Lovely control, good cross as well, and a Connell just unable to round it off. And a very breezy Oakwell. Stockwell, yet again. Shorter ball for Goddard now. Witten going on the left foot. Cracking shot as well. It's gone wide, but uh, good effort from Steve Witten whose last goal dates back to last January against Blackburn. Well, that's how close he was to the next one. Savile controlling it, and then just about finding O'Connell, although Stockwell's in a bruising encounter with O'Connell. I've heard a number of people in the last week say that it's a much more physically demanding game these days, football. And they're playing it hard out there at the moment, with Kerry leaving it for Archdeacon to try and get another good ball in, and he does that. Robinson's there as well. There was the chance for Savile, and Ipswich getting bodies in the way. They defended well against that. And it's Zondervan who brings it out for them. Kerry, nice little layoff. Andy gets it back as well. That's good. Oh, this is excellent play by Kerry. The ball literally sticking like glue to his foot. And now he falls down on the challenge of the challenge from Linnigan and a goal kick given. And a rather optimistic appeal from. David Curry. But it was lovely to see the way he advanced there through the Ipswich defence. The ball stuck to his foot. Linnigan had gone all the way with him. 
and the referee was not impressed. Oh, and Fleming gives it away, and the chance now for Ipswich as Paul Goddard runs at the heart of the Barnsley defence, one man in front of him, two ahead, Goddard might do it all himself. Does he need support? Yes, he does, he's here again, Goddard. Kiwami's waiting for it, took too long. And now it's turned back by Archdeacon, and Ipswich can't find a way through. Paul Goddard didn't really run decisively. Thompson was there. The aerial challenge won by Robinson. Gives Curry another chance on the left foot. Still he's here, Curry. Now Redfern. Bit of applause around Oakwell for Barnsley's efforts as Kerry gets in once more and now Connell into the side netting still nil-nil but at least Barnsley have had a shot in the end it came from Brendan O'Connell much of the approach work had been done by Kerry when the ball was finally fired in he was there yet again but it was O'Connell on the end of it Banks and O'Connell together bringing Barnsley forward we need something a little bit different. Perhaps O'Connell can produce it here. And the challenge from Stockwell. Gets the throw in. O'Connell's become a firm favourite since he joined this club from Burnley. And he's in the middle now as Redfern looks to get a cross in. Does so. Savile. Feels for handball, but that was very optimistic. Oh, and it's just too far for O'Connell, and then it might go in off uh, Andy Savile's foot. It's just looped over the bar. Well, we've seen Andy Savile get some goals on goals on Sunday, but on this occasion, when Redfern plays it in, uh, there's a bit of an appeal there, a half hearted one. And then when it's played back, Savile gets his lunging boot to it in the end over the top. Andy Savile, who was playing his first game of the season, or starting one for the first time, is replaced by last season signing from Manchester United, Andy Rammel. Well, Barnsley must hope he can produce the goods. And straight away, he's in here. It could be a goal for them. And Forrest makes the save. He certainly got on the end of Kerry's pass. What a start that would have been for Andy Rammel, looking for his first goal since April. He did get 12 last season. Nice little flick through to him, and Rowell in a good shooting position. Can't beat Forrest. <laughs> Leap for me, says Archdeacon. Kerry is on it. Oh, delightful back flick. Opens the way of Connell. Brought down by Hughes. Finds this free kick. And again, lovely skill from Kerry. What excites the crowds, little back heels, deft touches. And if anybody deserves a goal, it is David Curry today for Barnsley. Bax is there too, and Neil Redfern, who is on the right of both the players in your picture, can hit them as well. They might tempt him. No, it's the chip forward, and it's just that bit too long. Forrest coming from his line makes the save. And it's still no <laughs> Is Kuom your onside? No is the answer. Archdeacon up towards Rammel and coming in is Kerry. Here is Kerry, he's got it! <laughs> David Kerry takes the salute. The catastrophic error in the Ipswich defence. And Barnsley's fans celebrate the return of David Kerry to Oakwell. He is like Quicksilver, and when the ball is played up here, the Ipswich central defenders get into a tangle and Kerry in like a flash. Well, the players look very, very tired out there now. I think they found the conditions very trying. Barnsley won't mind about that if they hang on. And that is it. 
Barnsley have their first victory. Mel Machin said that he was signing David Curry to score goals and to excite the fans here. Well, he's won on both counts today. Curry's goal in the last quarter gives Barnsley success against Ipswich Town by a goal to nil. Do you feel you were the one who might get the breakthrough, though? You'd had a couple of chances. Yeah, I always felt, uh, you know, I had half chances, but uh, when, the, when the ball came in the box, I, you know, I couldn't believe the looks on it. was just fortunate that I got it under the keeper, yeah. There seems to be something special about Barnsley and yourself. You, the best phases of your career have been here, really. Yeah, I've had a lot of good times here, you know, I mean, it's a great little place, and I think that the crowd always took to me, and uh, I just hope to give them something back as well.